Okay, basically now we're gonna go over some of these commands. Okay, so basically there's a confusion between import and export and very on, very off. What what is it? What does import export mean? Where are you importing it to and where are you exporting it to? So there was a question on this. Okay, so here here's the server that we have. Okay. It's a very small system. It only has two disks. Okay. Now this server has has the you know has a system on root VG. Now, now there's another disk over here, H disk one. What is on it? We don't know. Like I, I did I, I did an LSVG command. What output did I what output did I get? I only see one VG. I don't see any other VG. But this does have some data on it. One way I one way I know is a PVID is set. Typically, a PVID is set when you add a disk to a volume group. Okay, that's typically when a PVD ID is set. Okay, that, that you know we can set the PVID ourselves, but that's usually generally not done on special case scenarios that you would need to do that. Um, and, and typically, you know, when you're doing something, you will go through the documentation and you will follow it and you and you will see that, you know, they will tell you that, hey, you need to set the PVID. Then you go and do it based on their requirements. Okay. So, I don't know what's on this disk, but if I do an import VG space minus yes, okay, I can call this whatever I want. I can say you know, I can say uh, X, Y, Z, X, Y, F. I can call it app VG. I can call it Oracle VG. I can call it whatever I want. Okay. Let's just call it data VG. Okay. And then I give the, and I give the age disk. What, which disk I want to import. Okay. The name, the name does not matter. I can import it one time as data VG. The next time I can do it at app VG. Really does not matter. Okay, I don't have permissions because I am not root. <coughs> okay. Okay, now I am root. So now I can just go ahead and run this command. Mm, a lot of issues. And these issues could be because we actually did it. We actually did a migration installation from five two to five three, and no, actually we did, we had a five two system installed on here, and I bet this LVM or this file system be, were belong to five two, and it had it had some issues trying to bring it online, um, but looks like it's still was able to bring it online even though with all these errors and warnings that we got. So now if I do a LSVG, now I see two of them. And then you also see it over here as well. Um, let's uh, let's see what file systems are on here. If I do a LV LSVG minus L and give the VG name, <coughs> it's, I don't think it's gonna work because it was a file, it was a five two and uh, trying to correct it will be uh, a waste of time. And we don't need to because we have no need. We have no data that we desperately need that's on this file system. Okay. So what we're going to basically do is uh, we have to vary off VG. <laughs> okay. On a oh, Now we get an issue. Let's go to the man pages.
Okay, they don't really have a force or uh, anything to do that. Let's see. Looks like even though we got that error message or warning, um, it still uh, deactivated the volume group, which is fine. Uh, let's just export that volume group and continue with our uh, with our session. Okay, so we're trying to keep this in 15 minutes, so I got like 10 minutes to go through this. So basically, we're going to create a VG. <coughs> I personally, I just like to go ahead and use Smitty. Um, I know many of them just want to do it by command line, but if Smitty's there, I got enough to memorize. Why not use it? So add, add a volume group. We can you know, create an original. Name it, data VG, uh, phys what physical volume, escape four, it gives you the list, pick the disk, four straight, I'm gonna have to do a yes here because it already has a PVD on it, uh, PVID on it, it has, it's gonna have a VGDA on it, so it's it's not going, to, it's going to uh, fail. So I, I need to do that, I need to do a yes over there. Okay, do you want to activate the volume group automatically on the restart? Uh, let's do a no on this one. Do you want any specific major number? No, I don't care about the major. I don't want to give it a specific major number. Enter. You just want to make sure you're sure. Okay, and continue. And that's it. Uh, command when okay. So that's what it needs when it's, it's completed. Okay, escape zero to exit out of there. So if you do LSPV, you know, it created the volume group and it brought it online. Okay, how sweet it is. So LSVG minus L, data VG, nothing on here. Empty, pure empty disk. Okay, so basically, what, what did we just do? We just did it. We did it. Uh, we did an example of an import, but it failed because it was a 5 2. Um, so now, now we can, you know, now we can actually, you know, do, uh, do a very, uh, very off VG, and you know, it should just simply. Uh, why is it doing that? LVM system call found on an uncallable error, internal error. Well, it could, but I, I'm wondering why it's doing that though. Uh, <coughs> unable to allocate space on the file system. Okay, what's what file system are you referring to? Root file system. Okay, uh, major minor number. Let me let me increase some space on here. Okay. So man, this file system is already hundred percent, very very small. So uh, let's give it, let's give it some power. So ls, I first I need to find out what type of VG is it. So minus l root VG, ls VG minus l root VG. I think I think this file system problem is causing all this problem. So let's let's just do let's just take a guess. It's a JFS two. Okay, we do a change in show. Root VG. Um, I really don't know how big that file system is at that using that, but we'll we'll give it at least um, 500 megs. Root VG doesn't. I mean, root file system doesn't really need a whole lot. Storage failing. Cannot get the VG partition size. Oh, why can it not get the VG partition size? An uncountable error.
Hopefully I don't have any hardware problems. It seems like I should not have any hardware problems. Even though there was a system planner problem uh, a couple of days back. And then again over here in the same day, just different time. Uh, we need to, we need to shut down at this time. The dump's too small, but that shouldn't cause this issue. Um, I still didn't add any space. Um, did it do a core dump? You know, why did it go to a... Uh, why did it go to a hundred all of a sudden? I'm wondering that. Was it a hundred before? Uh, I don't have that much... Uh, I don't see any core file. Let's see. I don't see anything over here either. Okay. Minus N, I think. Pref. Okay. Let me go into pref and see maybe if I can delete some stuff. down to 76%. Let me see if I try to uh, increase it now. Would I have any issues? Megs. There you go. That was very unusual. <coughs> that file system error gave us that issue. <laughs> you see that? The file system error Give us that much as an issue. We cleared up the file system and uh, we were able to increase it without any issue. We weren't able to do anything. That was kind of interesting, wasn't it? Okay, that kind of put us a little bit over, but we were able to uh, <coughs> export the file system. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, if I do a VLSVG, we um, varied off that file system. So let's uh, let's export uh, export VG and data VG. Okay, LSPV. Okay, none. So see none, nothing here. If I do LSVG, it doesn't know it anymore. Okay, so when you're importing it and exporting it, you're importing it, exporting it to the system. So the system doesn't know it no more. It has that disk, but it doesn't know what VG is on it. You want to see what file systems on it? You cannot see. Okay, because the system doesn't know it. Okay, so <coughs> so okay, we're gonna stop here for now. The other other commands are pretty straightforward, and uh, we'll try we'll try to finish. Uh, we'll try to have these examples available uh, on a couple of more. I have I have um, a list of tasks that I want to do. Uh, that, that, that typically admins will do that it typically admins do and we'll go through that and and uh, and I can't do extend and reduce because I don't have enough disk to do that uh, and I don't have enough disk to do the mirroring either um, okay thanks bye bye